Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be unboxing the Atlas Crate, which I just absolutely love. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to give you unboxings, which is what we're doing today, to give you curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ in your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's get into this crate. Okay, so the Atlas crate this month is Mexico. I believe it was originally supposed to be Ethiopia, but with all the mix up with the crates this month, this is the one that they had available that we hadn't yet received. So last month we just did Guatemala, so we're staying in Central America. So we're gonna go to Mexico. It says make a pinata, which my kids will love. They always, for their birthdays, want pinatas. It says create tin art and explore Mexico. So here we go. Again, hola. <laughs> it makes my life so much easier when I know a few words from wherever we're traveling to compared to some of the other ones where I'm like, I don't even know how to say this at all. So we're gonna open this little packet and it has all of our cards in it for us to look through and a sticker to show that we traveled there. So we have this nice map and I just, I love their maps. I think they look so nice. And then we get to travel and we have to figure out where to put this with our little friends here. So you can read some of the things that they did. And then Dia de Muertes right here. So you can watch Coco. For some reason, my kids don't like that. I think it's because of skeletons, but they, it's like one of my husband's favorite shows. He like, he loves it. And it teaches about like family history work and stuff like that. But my kids think it's scary. So there you go, we can talk about that some more. Chichen Itza, I've actually been here. I've only been to Mexico once and it was a long time ago when I was like 20, I think. Anyways, so I've been here. I probably have pictures of it somewhere. And then uh, this is Mexican dancing. I don't know how to say this with their big poofy skirt. So this is gonna teach you how to do some dancing, which, I've tried before with dancing on these cards and it does not go well. I'm not that talented. And then this is yarn painting. That sounds interesting. So it gives you a way for us to do it here. So this could actually be super fun to do. And then guacamole avocado dip. So it's gonna show you how to make some guacamole and then do your own tortilla chips using corn tortilla shells probably. Anyway, so that looks super, super fun. And then in our crate, we have our pinata. So that will be super fun. I wonder how big it's gonna be. I don't know. And if we put treats inside, my kids would love that. It would make their day. <laughs> and then this is tin art. I don't know how you say this. Hoya lata, maybe, I'm not sure. But that looks fun. So we have a whole bunch of like tissue paper. This is probably to decorate our pinata with. And then, I don't know if these are more things, probably all for the pinata. And then we have some paint right here, some variety of colors and a foam piece and metal. This is metal shape, so this must be for our tin art. And then a little like wooden dowel skewer thing, <laughs> I don't know. And then some more pieces. Again, these all seem like they'd be for the pinata, for the structure of it. And then we have a glue stick and a paintbrush, and I think that's all. So I'm actually really excited for this. This seems like a lot of fun. I might have to get some little candy or something to go in the pinata, because my kids will definitely want to have candy in the pinata. So I'm gonna let them get at this, and we will let you know how it goes.
so we finished doing the Atlas crate and I actually really, really liked the crafts in this crate. It was a lot of fun and it was very easy to let all my kids try something because there was so many different moving parts and things like that. Sorry, my child is getting ice. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's kind of loud. Anyways, my kids are a little crazy today. So the first thing is this pinata which we haven't broken it yet because then I wouldn't have been able to show it to you. So I'll have to insert some footage into here once we do that because I have some candy. It's not a huge pinata. And then you just close the top, it has little stickies. And so I'm not gonna fill it with too much candy and I'm not a huge like feed my kids tons of candy advocate. But anyways, it has this string right here you can hold it from. But this is one of the activities that was just super fun for so many of my kids, I think my two oldest were the ones that did most of this. My youngest helped by handing like little stickies to them. But you have to make each of these little like cones separately. And so they just started making them. They started, my oldest started it. And then my next child, <laughs> Alana, was helping out with it as well. Just because it takes a little while. It already comes with all this tissue paper and it already has all the fringes on it. Think heavens because that would have been a nightmare to cut anyways and so there's plenty there's tons of leftover if you want to use different colors or if you wanted to use them for something different there's a lot of leftovers there but if you had even more if my other kids had wanted to participate they could have there was plenty for them to do and then my oldest was the one that mostly put this together and that part i would say is not super sound these are the stickies that stick this on the it's they're stuck together but it probably will fall apart fall apart pretty easily once it's hit just because the stickies don't stick very well to hold all of these in place we did put some tape of our own on some of them and that held a lot better so if you are having struggles you might have to use your own tape but it does provide you with some stickies they just don't work super well so i thought that was super fun <laughs> <laughs> and then the other activity it was tin art a lot of times we'll get a game and an activity this one obviously the pinata is kind of a game but it was also an art activity as well but then we also had this art activity which was tin art so they can trace it's hard to see the grooves but they trace the grooves on the back so it gives you this piece of foam that you can set the metal on and this is super thin metal it's supposed to be tin art and then you set it on here and then you draw this has a little slightly pointed it's not really pointed end and then you can trace your designs and then you can flip them over and paint the other side. And so my, my daughter, my oldest daughter did these two, the fish and the parrot. And then my youngest one did this. She attempted to write her name on it. She's, she's getting better at it, but it's hilarious to see some of her letters. And then it does give you little like glue stickies if you want to stick these somewhere. I don't know where I put them. But you can decorate with them. I don't know what they suggest doing. They give, I think, a few ideas here. They say, you know, you could display it like on a bookshelf of some sort or other places uh, on a mirror or window, it says. So I don't know how well the glue stickies come off of those types of things. I don't know if we'll display them anywhere, but that is an option if you want to display them. And then we didn't do anything in the booklet this time. Again, we've been kind of bombarded with Atlas crates and then just me not feeling well. We haven't done a whole lot, but I thought this activity would be super cool to do. It's a yarn like pulling activity and you just need some cardboard, pencil, glue, scissors, a stick, and then several colors of yarn. So it sounds like it'd be fairly simple to get. I don't know if my younger kids would be able to do it, but the supplies, it's a pretty simple list. And then guacamole, we didn't make this time. We did just make guacamole recently because we had a big like salad, Cafe Rio Costa Vida, if you're familiar with any of those places, salad bar for my daughter's baptism. 
And so I made lots of guacamole for that recently. And we do have some ripening avocado, so we'll probably make some more. But this is, this is fun. Guacamole is always delicious. And it's a very simple recipe. And then they tell you, I think, how you could make, yeah, some tortilla chips if you wanted to try that too with corn tortilla shells. So I really enjoyed this. And again, I'm excited for to break the, it's probably gonna break right apart. <laughs> Let's be honest, but if you wanted to not break it, you can do that as well and just have it on display. But you know, my kids, they just want to break a pinata. So, so we'll probably do that with them. And again, I'll put footage in here somewhere. I'm not sure where, but somewhere it will be here and you'll be able to see them breaking apart the pinata. So if you enjoyed seeing this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.